to those stories in a moment, but first tonight, an active investigation still underway in Dartmouth. Police are searching for the person responsible for an alleged homicide. Eyewitness News reporter Eric Halperin is live in Dartmouth tonight with more. Eric. Kate, family and friends of the victim spent a couple hours here earlier tonight in Dartmouth gathering to remember the victim, 37-year-old Joseph Tavares. They set up those candles back there in the back parking with the parking lot of this hotel as a memorial for him. They're set up so they spell out his name. Dozens of candles flickering now lighting up part of the hotel parking lot where a Fall River man was shot Saturday night. They spell out Joey. Family and friends put together the memorial for 37-year-old Joseph Tavares. They said it was too much to talk about him on camera, but shared this picture. According to the Bristol County District Attorney's Office, police were called to the Regency Inn and Suites on Fonts Corner Road in Dartmouth a little after 10.30 Saturday night. A spokesperson for the DA's office says hotel guests heard loud thuds and breaking glass coming from the back parking lot. The guests told the night manager, who called police. Investigators say the manager found Tavares bleeding heavily inside a car. Sunday morning, a pile of glass was on the ground where the candles now sit. Overnight, Tavares was rushed to the hospital where he was pronounced dead shortly after 11. One of his cousins tells me the 37-year-old was a great family man, a great loving man, and a great father. And this is still under investigation at this point. There is no word on any arrests. Live in Dartmouth tonight, I'm Eric Alperin, Eyewitness News.